Yo, what's up everyone? My name's Dave and you suck at programming, except today you suck at using the terminal and I'm gonna show you how to get better, okay? Now, a lot of you have been asking me a couple questions. You asked me questions on my previous videos like, how did you jump around the words like that in the terminal? And how did you just swap two words like that? That's crazy, what are you doing? Well, let's talk about it. So here, I made a handy dandy uh, guide here. This is not exhaustive. There are way more options than this. But basically, we can, uh, let's say we have a uh, echo world hello, something like that. We have a command, we have three different words there. Uh, first things first, we have alt F and alt B, or you know, meta F and meta B, whatever your keyboard has. That will jump forward and back words. So this is how I move my cursor back and forth so quickly. The alternatives are instead of alt, I can hold control, and this just moves one forward and one back. This is useful because I don't have to move my hand over to the uh, up, down, left, right buttons. Moving your hand over the arrow, very slow. Keeping it on the keyboard, home row, very fast. So what I have here is Alt T is to translate the two words. So if I were to want Alt T, I have the cursor between world and hello, Alt T, bam, echo hello world. That looks a lot nicer. There's also Control T, which will swap the two characters. This can get confusing, um, but still super useful. So Alt will do it on a word level, Control will do it on a character level. There's also control W that will just delete back a word. So if I have a bunch of words, I can just control W, control W, control W, control U, delete everything. Now that is super useful because if you ever tried to sudo a command and then it asks for your password, you start typing your password, you're like, oh, I made a mistake. Uh oh, now I got a backspace or hit enter and it's wrong. Control U, retype in your password. Bam, super simple, super easy to use. Control R, reverse search, this is super nice. Hit, instead of having to search through your history or press up until you find something, control R, type in something and bam, it'll bring up my last echo command. All I typed in for that was echo and I hit enter to run it. Cool, super useful. Well, there's a little bit more than that. So these shortcuts are read line shortcuts. Read line is a library that you can use and it's baked into kind of a lot of programs or it might be linked against it. Bash uses read line, but there are other programs that use read line. A good example would be like a node REPL. You fire up a node REPL, you could say like var foo equals high, console.log foo, and then if I press up, you can see I'm going back to the history. If I use Alt B and Alt F, I'm jumping around words the same way. Control W will just, bam, start deleting words. That's because they both use readline under the hood. So all of the shortcuts are the same between Bash and Node and other REPLs that use the same thing. Um, the other thing is they have history. You notice how I press up and down and I can go back? Well, each has their own history file. So Bash has, you know, uh, what was it? Dot Bash underscore history in your home directory. I think Node has like, I'm just gonna tab complete it. Yeah, Node REPL history. Same idea, it's just a file in your home directory that holds the history. Cool thing you can do. I don't know why you'd ever wanna do this, but you could do this. You could fire up Bash without readline support. So you just do no editing. Bam. So now what do we have? We have bash running, but I can't control L. I can't press up, I can't press down. I, there's really not much you can do here. Um, I just realized the prompt's probably cut off. But yeah, if I press up, if I press down, I just, it, it's, it's no good. This is not useful. I'm gonna press control D and back out of that shell. Okay, and uh, yeah, so hopefully this uh, gave you some insight into readline. You can look more about uh, look more up on readline shortcuts and stuff like that. Get really fast, get really useful. If you're going to be using the terminal every day, especially in a professional setting, you might as well get fast at it. So yeah, hopefully this is helpful.